Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. Now in this video we shall be taking two questions related to compound interest. In the first question we are given the amount and we have to find the sum. In the second question we are given the compound interest and we have to find the sum. Sum means principal. So let's start with the first question. A certain sum amounts to rupees 2970.25 in two years at 9% per annum compounded annually. Find the sum. As I said, sum means principal. Now, in this question, amount is given to us 2970.25. Time period is two years and rate of interest is 9% per annum. And to find the sum, we shall apply the formula of amount that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n where a is the amount p is the principal r is the rate of interest per annum and n is the number of years now let's start solving the question amount is given to us rupees 2970.25 rate of interest is 9 percent per annum time period is two years and we have to find the sum that is principal so we shall apply the formula of amount over here to find the principal. So amount formula is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. Now in the next step we shall put the values of amount, rate of interest and N that is the time period. So we shall write 2970.25 is equal to P the principal in bracket 1 plus 9 upon 100 whole square. Now, in next step, we shall take LCM. So, we shall write 2970.25 is equal to P in bracket 100 plus 9 upon 100 whole square. Now, 100 plus 9 is 109. So, accordingly, we shall write 2970.25 is equal to P in bracket 109 upon 100 whole square. Now, we shall cross multiply. So, we shall write P is equal to 2970.25 into 100 into 100 because everything is in square. 109 is also in square and 100 is also in square. So, 100 into 100 upon 109 into 109. So, further when we will simplify it, we will get the principal rupees 2500. So, this is the sum rupees 2500 which amounted to rupees 2970.25 in two years at 9% per annum when the interest was compounded annually. So this is our answer that is principal rupees 2500. Now let us move to second question. On what sum will the compound interest at 7.5% per annum for three years compounded annually be rupees 3101.40. Now over here, compound interest is given to us. It is saying on what sum, we have to find the sum that is the principal, will the compound interest be rupees 3101.40. You have to read the like this, on what sum will the compound interest be rupees 3101.40. Rate of interest is 7.5% per annum and time is 3 years. Now over here since compound interest is given to us and we have to find the principal. So we can use the compound interest formula directly that is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1 where CI is the compound interest. So this formula is more appropriate to use over here. Now let's start solving the question. Compound interest is rupees 3101.40. Rate of interest is 7.5% per annum, which we can convert into improper fraction. 7 into 2 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15, so 15 by 2% per annum is the rate of interest. Time period is 3 years, and we have to find the sum on which the compound interest is this 3101.40. Sum means principal. And we shall apply the compound interest formula that is P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. Now in the next step we shall put the values. Compound interest is 3101.40 is equal to P the principal which we have to find in bracket 1 plus 
15 upon 2 that is the rate of interest is 15 upon 2 into 100 whole raise to power 3 minus 1. For accordingly we will write further 3101.40 is equal to P in bracket 1 plus 15 by 200 whole raise to power 3 minus 1. Now we shall take LCM and write down 3101.40 is equal to P in bracket 215 upon 200 whole cube minus 1. Now we can simplify by dividing both numerator and denominator by 5 and accordingly we shall write 3101.40 is equal to P in bracket 43 by 40 whole cube minus 1. Now uh, we can simplify it by multiplying 43 in 3 times and 40 also 3 times. So we shall write 3101.40 is equal to P in bracket 79507 upon 64000 minus 1. Now further we shall take LCM. Now when we will take LCM, next step we will write 3101.40 is equal to P further in bracket 79507 minus 64000 upon 64000. Now 79,507 minus 64,000 is 15,507. So we shall write 3,101.40 is equal to P into 15,507 upon 64,000. Now we shall cross multiply because we have to find the value of P. Now in next step when we will cross multiply we shall write P is equal to 3,101.40 into 64,000 upon 15,507. Now we need to simplify it. So let us remove the decimal uh, point from 3,101.40 and write multiply by 100 in the denominator. Because we are removing two decimal places, so we will write 100 in the denominator. So accordingly, we shall write P is equal to 310140 into 64,000 upon 15,507 into 100. Now, 100 and two zeros of 64,000 can also get cancelled. Further, 310140 will cancel with 15507. Uh, we will simplify it by dividing both by 3 and we will get 103380 in the numerator and 5169 in the denominator. Further, both will get cancelled with 3 again. So, we shall get 34460 and in the denominator we will get 1723. Now 34460 will exactly get cancelled with 1723 and we will get uh, 20. Now for the 20 into 640 we will get 12800 as the principal that is you can say the sum that will be uh, that will gain compound interest 7.5% per annum for 3 years. So this is our answer. So hope you have enjoyed and learnt uh, these two questions where the amount was given or the compound interest was given and we had calculated the sum that is the principal. So please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.